Hey guys, Crypto Jarhead here again. Um, wanted to do a real quick video about the upcoming hard fork for Ethereum. If you guys don't know, <laughs> there are actually three forks hitting ETH uh, this month. So within the next couple of weeks here. Um, and it's a pretty good thing, honestly, because Ethereum was about due for a revamp. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and leave the link to this article in the description box so you can go ahead and peruse it at your own convenience here. I'm just going to skim through on some highlights here. So basically, um, there's the Classic Vision, Ethereum, Noah, and the Constantinople uh, forks that are coming up. Um, and this is due mainly to the difficulty bomb that was programmed into the Ethereum network that will pretty much make mining... Uh, pointless <laughs> after a certain uh, certain time coming up in the near future. So uh, the reason that was programmed in was to force Ethereum to update and evolve and adapt. Uh, so, you know, pretty, pretty genius move on the developers part, in my opinion, because it, you know, it's easy to get complacent, especially when you're the number two cryptocurrency. Um, so, it does go into a little detail about the highlights of each one. Um, I'm not going to get too big into this, but uh, Classic Vision, I'm pretty excited about from a development standpoint um, because the network can do upwards of 10,000 transactions per second. Uh, the current ETH network only does 25. So this should make your you know, transfers, your, you know, when you're sending a command into a thing, uh, pretty darn quick. Uh, not, not quite instantaneous, but for all intents and purposes, pretty much instant. Um, and it also is going to use a little bit less gas than the current, so it'll be a little bit cheaper than ETH to use, which is always good. Um, and how do you get it? I'll go into that in a second, but it's a three to one ratio. Now, the NOAA, I'm really not too excited about, um, to be honest, because there's just not, there are improvements, but it's not as good as Classic Vision, in my opinion. I don't think NOAA went far enough. And there has been a, uh, damn it, I always do this. There's a, um, a security flaw that was pointed out a few weeks ago. Um, about a potential scam. So hopefully that got addressed. It's it's been a while. They you know hopefully they've got had enough time to to patch that little uh, little leak there that's happening. But regardless on whether or not they fixed it, that news I'm sure is going to negatively impact its future, its chances. Um, does it have a good chance? Yeah, it does have a good chance of being very profitable, but Something like that mm -hmm. this early in a coin's life is not good. Um, so this one is going to be a one-to-one -one ratio for Ethereum. Uh, and then there's some info on the uh, Constantinople update for Ethereum. <coughs> uh, so it's quite a bit going on here. Uh, it's going to decrease the minor reward by a third. So instead of three ETH per block reward, it's only going to be two ETH per block. So the miners are, are you know, it's going to upset the miners. Um, however, it will also prolong uh, how long they can mine for. So, you know, you'll get a little bit less ETH as a reward, but it's going to be profitable for longer. Um, not that it's profitable at the moment, but I'm sure that will change in the future. Um it uses bitwise shifting to use less gas, so it's only going to use 10% of the gas that it currently does right now, uh, which is good. It's always a good thing. Uh, it will increase the performance here. Um, they're going to use off-chain transactions, kind of like the Bitcoin Lightning. And the reduction in the block mining reward will delay the difficulty bomb by a year. So that's always good to have. Um, now, what does this mean to me? What does this mean to you? Who cares? Well, if you don't care, crypto is probably not the place for you. Um, 
But I mean, you know, there's people out there that don't really bother with Ethereum. They don't like it, you know, which is fine. Um, so how do Ethereum holders profit off of this? What, what do we have to do? Uh, short answer is nothing. <laughs> and the long answer is, you know, actually not even that long. All you have to do is hold Ethereum in your own personal wallet, so don't keep it on an exchange. There are some exchange exchanges that will work with uh, the Constantinople update and may or may not help out with the um, uh, Classic Vision and NOAA as well. But to qualify for an airdrop, all you got to do is just hold Ethereum in your personal wallet. So your MetaMask, your Trust, uh, your MyEther wallet, whatever wallet you use, that is yours, it is on your phone, on your computer, you have the key for it. Those are the wallets that are gonna to qualify to get the airdrop. Um, so for every one Ethereum that you hold, you will automatically be airdropped uh, three CVs, the Classic Visions, and then the next day you'll get one NOAA. Um, so, just hold on to Ethereum in your wallet. Um, I do expect the price of Ethereum to be rising the closer we get to this. Um, and then it's going to be extremely volatile. It's going to go up and down. So there's lots of uh, arbitraging opportunities after these releases. Um, but people are going to want to grab Ethereum just for the sole purpose of getting more of these free coins. Uh, so I do expect to see a positive impact on price in the next couple days. Um, but with that being said, Ethereum's already rose in value a lot. Somewhere currently like 70% or something like that. But when it was at a buck 60, then it was at uh, 85% just in the past month. So it's not going to be super drastic. I don't think, I don't think you're going to see it jump up to 400 bucks for an ETH in the next couple of days or anything crazy like that. Um, but I do expect to see it back closer to, you know, 160, maybe even like 170. Uh, but that's just pure speculation. Who knows what's going to happen? Um, uh, so there's also a list of exchanges that are supporting the hard fork. This is mostly for Constantinople. Um, although a couple of these are going to go ahead and honor uh, CV and NOAA as well. But just to be safe, I would hold it in your wallet. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's see if I forgot anything. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, oh, be on the lookout for people that, or uh, for any notices you get in the next week or so. Uh, don't import your wallet's uh, keys to any new like exchanges or if someone hits you up on telegram and says hey you know um just send me your private key uh so that i can send you like i don't want ethereum classic vision you know so i'll just i'll send you all the classic vision that i get you know unless you actually know the guy and trust him uh like if he's someone that you would give the key to your house to you know like maybe a family member that just just doesn't want it that may be one thing, but if it's someone that you don't know contacting you on Telegram or whatever, disregard that message. Do not do it, because uh, they're probably just going to yank all of your ETH before the forks. And if you give them the keys, you can't do anything about it. So don't do that. Um, it does have some speculation on the uh, the whole ecosystem here. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a pretty good article. Um, it doesn't go too in depth about any any one of these forks or anything like that, but it does have links to each one. You know, you got the white paper for the classic vision. Um, there's a link to the Bitcoin talk about uh, Noah, and there's some more information about Constantinople right there. Um, so you can go ahead and click on those links to get more information about whichever one that you're most interested in, or all three if you want. Um, but I wanted to bring this guy to your attention just in case, uh, like me, I usually keep some ETH on Gemini to try and, and uh, you know, sell high, buy back in low, uh, and then I'll pocket the change <laughs> and either send it to my bank account or send uh, the little bit of extra ETH I get back to my wallet. Um, so what I'm going to do is tomorrow, I'm going to go ahead and pull that back into my personal wallet. 
Uh, so that would be the 10th. It's just a, a full day in advance. Uh, the Classic Vision is supposed to happen on the 11th, and the NOAA is going to be on the 12th. So uh, this upcoming weekend, you should have <laughs> some extra coins. Um, and me, personally, I don't really like the NOAA update. I don't think it's going to go very far. Uh, so I'm probably going to try and exchange at least half of the NOAA that I get for more Classic Vision uh, and try and ride that price appreciation up. But at the end of the day, guys, it's free coins uh, for, <laughs> for hopefully for ETH that you already own. You know, um, so even if you just pop your ETH into your wallet for a couple days and, and collect all the Classic Vision and NOAA, you know, and you don't touch it for six months and then it turns out that you know, Classic Vision's only worth 20 bucks, and Noah's worth a dollar, you know, well, that's still free money, you know, um, but it's got the potential to, to rise up. I mean, the, the Bitcoin forks have historically done very, very well on pricing, um, obviously, except for Litecoin, <laughs> but uh, that's, that's, that's its own thing, <laughs> um, you know, so I am hopeful that uh, here in the next few months, these free classic visions and free Noahs that we get uh, will actually be worth a decent amount here. You know, so I wanted to bring that to everyone's attention in case y'all didn't know what was going on. Um, I've known about it, but <laughs> I've been so sidetracked with all kinds of stuff that um, I was going to make a video on it a couple weeks ago and I, I forgot. So I'm sorry guys, but here's a couple days notice to go ahead and get your affairs in order to take advantage of this. Um, again, all you got to do is hold your ETH in your personal wallet. Don't send it to anyone else. Don't, you know, <laughs> don't don't listen to these guys that are going to double your ETH so you can take advantage of the hard fork. Uh, just if you've got ETH laying around in different places, go ahead and consolidate them and pull them back into your wallet. Um, and for those of you who are in arbitraging and have a whole lot of ETH waiting for you in the exchange, that exchange should be back up uh let's see one they gave a 48 hour notice for the um mm -hmm. exchange to be back live almost two days ago so it should be one o'clock in the morning my time um so you know <laughs> i'm on pacific standard time so one o'clock pacific standard time should be about when it's coming on back online go ahead and, and look up your time zone you know, for what time it's going to be for you, but we should have the exchange back up. I'm really, really hoping that it's back up. Um, cause Hey, I do need to pay, pay my rent. Uh, and I still need a little bit more from arbitrage for that. Um, but before I do that, I do want to have, uh, my ETH in my wallet so I can take advantage of these hard forks. Um, so hopefully we can all get what we need from that. And take advantage of this. I think it's going to be a pretty good thing to take advantage of. So that's all I got for now. Um, <laughs> I, I do still owe videos on Trip, Halo, and uh, the, re, the redo on the Coin Lotto video. So I may or may not get around to that today. Um, but over the next couple of days, I'm sure that I'll be doing some more videos. Um, either on those platforms or uh, some more about the hard fork or whatever. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, that's all I got for now. Jarhead out.